hello guys so today i am going to show you how to make this uh, ostrich character is getting tired and after getting tired we may uh, how to make this character getting some rest so let's get into our video first go to our bp ostrich and let's create a variable for energy of our ostrich I'll make this value as 100 so the ostrich has initially uh, this value of energy so it should decrease time to time like this uh, hunger amount so let's create a custom event for uh, draining the energy Let's create a custom event. I'll rename this as energy drain and let's add the value drain value. Let's check our energy by subtracting is a uh, greater or equal than zero if it is true it should uh, subtract this value from energy And when energy is uh, less than 10 or something, I uh, I used this 10 amount for hunger also. So let's add the same value for energy. Uh, if energy value is less than 10, let's add the branch. and we need to set the ostrich character is tired to do that let's go to our blackboard and let's create a key for tired in the behavior tree Let's add the uh, another selector for here, and when he is not tired, he should do these things. Mm, let's add the decorator, and the tired is not set. If the tired is set, he should get some waste so let's add the task for getting some waste in the task folder i will create vtt getting some waste event receive execute ai in here we should uh, start our resting and we should call this task in here btt getting some rest and we should add the decorator value uh, from this blackboard key of tired is set So let's uh, set this blackboard value when he is tired 
the key uh, name is tire and we should call this energy drain uh, in the timer event so let's add the timer event And this should be called by time 0 0.4 and should loop. And let's create an event, custom event, draining energy. In here, let's call our energy drain. Event and the value should be like. Four, I think. Let's see it's working or not. Let's uh, print this value if the ostrich character is tired. And let's print our tired value also, energy value in here. Yeah, ostrich is tired, but the time is too much. I will reduce this drain value like 1. And the time should be 0 0.8 or something. I will speed up a bit by calling this promo code yes now he is tired when he is tired so he need to get some rest to do that let's add, uh, add an animation for in our animation blueprint uh, let's add the state for fifteen. Uh, let's uh, use this three seat animation. I will add this seat animations to here. Sit on, sit two, and sit three. And also, we need uh, another not to conduit a state start resting and end resting. I have uh, created this variable tired uh, when our stretch is tired he should start, uh, play this start resting animation and after completing the start resting animation he should go to resting state when he is uh, completing his resting state so he should go to end resting and in here he should play his end resting animation and if it is completed so he should go to uh, previous logo motion animation in here let's check with tired if it is true it should go to start resting so here i should add the animation i will to sit yeah 
while due to shift and we should go to resting if the I due to sit animation is completed so let's check it here by uh, calling time remaining ratio of which I do sit and if it is less than 0 0.1 it should go to resting in here it uh, it is calling random sitting animation and if those switch is not tired I will call not boolean and then he should play in the end resting so sit I do animation yeah this is it I will place it here and in here I will call again time remaining ratio from our animation and let's check it is less than 0 0.1 yeah and let's create an interface function to set this resting and uh, end resting start resting sorry resting and end resting in the bpo switch blueprint let's implement this start resting and end resting function uh, when he start resting so he should get his off switch and in and set the rest tired as true so tired as true and then testing I duplicate it and set this as false and also he need to change the blackboard value tired to false also I duplicate it and back to here and make this as false in our task so we should uh, call our start testing from our control form and let's surrender with some delay <coughs> uh, I will take random floating range <coughs> like 5 to 10 so it will randomize if we have more than one of stages and then he should end resting and we need to done our task finish by calling this finish execute node with success let's see it's working or not let's speed up yeah he is now resting I think I have to make this energy value to hundred again. And we have to wait some time before uh, ending. So I will add this delay. to here uh, 
Yeah, now we start to rest. I think it's it calls here again. So let's add the delay to here. And let's check again. I think we have we need to have like two seconds. Yeah, now it's working fine. So he's walking freely now. And finding some food. But he is not tired yet. When he is tired, he is going to get some rest again. Let's see. Now he is getting some resting here. Okay guys. So that's it for today video. In the next video. So let's see how to implement the function. Uh, when this ostrich uh, sees a character or something. So he, he is going to attack the character. Like if he saw us. He is going to start attacking us. Uh, so, I will end the video in here. So, see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.